dua satu Introducing myself. My name is Naila Andri. You can call me Naila. I'll tell you about the story of Sangkolia. Listen. Here we go. Long, long time ago, in West Java lived a beautiful girl named Dayang Kuni. She was also smart and clever. Her beauty and intelligence made the first from heavenly kingdom of Kahyangan desire her his wife. People from Kahyangan could never lie side by side with human, but his father approved on one condition. When they had talked, the prince would then come to a dog, and the prince accepted the condition. They get married and live happily in the wood until they also gave birth to a baby boy. The prince changes into a dog named Zuma. Their son is named Sangkulia. He was very smart and handsome like his father. Every day he was hunting animals and looking for fruit to eat. One day, when he was hunting, Sangkuliang accidentally killed Tumang. His arrow missed the deer he was targeting and hit Tumang in his He went go home and sent for mother about the dog. What? Daya Sundu was the call. Driven by sadness and anger, Grabbing a weaving tool and hit Sangkuliang head with ear. Sangkuliang feels sad, also confused. How can his mother love to do more than him? Sangkuliang decided to go away from their home and went on their journey. In the morning, Dayasumi finally stopped crying. She started to feel better and she started to feel better and went to find Sangkuliang. His son nowhere to be found. She looked everywhere but still couldn't find him. Dayang Sundar was exhausted. She fell asleep and in her dream he missed her husband. Dayang Sumbi then said, Go look for my body in the wood and get the heart. Soak it with water and use the water to bed. Say, say the prince in her dream. After bathing with a heart, the dog's heart, Dayang Sumbi looked more beautiful and even younger. And time passed by. Sangkuliang on his journey stopped at village and had, and fell in love with a beautiful girl. She didn't realize that village was his homeland and the beautiful girl his own mother, Dayang Sumbi. They loved grew naturally. He asked, the beautiful girl to marry him. One day, Sangkuliang was going on a hunt. She asked Dayang Sumbi to fix the turban on his head. Dayang Sumbi was started when he saw a scar on his head at the same place where years ago he did Sangkuliang's head. After Dayang left, Dayang Sumbi prayed for guidance. After praying, Convinced that young man was his was his her missing son, she realized she had to do something to prevent Sangkuliang from marrying her. But she did not disappoint by him to canceling the wedding. So she agreed to marry Sangkuliang. She would do so only on the condition that he provide her with a lake and build a beautiful boat all in one night. Sampulia accepted the condition without a doubt. He speed his young with with magical magical arts. After the sun went down, Dayang Sampulia went go to hill. He called he called a group of genies to build a dam and ground of Chitaram River. Then he commenced the genies to cutting down the trees and build a boat. Dayak Sumbi realized Dayak Sumbi realized Sampurya would fulfill the condition he had set. Dayak Sumbi immediately warned all the women in the village and when they they went a red scarf, a red scarf and women in the village 
it when leaving red making it as if down was breaking. Sampurian grew to Sampurian grew grew that Sampurian grew furious. He kicked until he kicked, he kicked and finished the ball, and the ball flew and landed on a fillet. The ball then became mountain a became a mountain called Mount Sampurian Tarahu. Everyone, I hope you happy after listening the story. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next story. Goodbye!